<laughs> Welcome back guys back at it again with another video All right, so today I'm gonna install some LED interior lights uh, I'm gonna show you two ways of Installing them if we get this video to a thousand likes. I'm dropping another oh my God. Get it. If we get the video to oh my <laughs> Oh. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. All right, so first I have to go to the auto parts store, get some uh, some materials, some stuff that I'll be needing, and then we'll get to the install. So let's waste no time and get right to it. Ready, ready, ready. All right, so right now we are on our way to the auto parts store to get some parts. So we'll get back to you guys in a bit. Where's the tank now? Is it full? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Just waiting for a cop to pop out the cuts, bro. You can do that, son. I'm about to hit up our sponsorship right now, O'Reilly's. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to your conversation. It's 836. Oof. Would you give one of those to those M3? Yeah. Oh, look. Shout to the sponsorship. Shout to the sponsorship. Dude, the beamer. Just hit a lick. Just kidding. I did. You got a nice. Uh, so these are the LED lights that I bought. Here's the control box. Oh, and also I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to buy yourself one of these. It's gonna be um, so driver side, passenger side. The out of circuit that we bought at O'Reilly's. We're gonna shout to the sponsorship. But I don't like this butt connector, so instead I'm gonna just uh, heat shrink this. So what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna just cut this end off right here, and then splice this, just like that. And then uh, so the positive wire we're gonna splice it into the out of circuit. All right, so we're back in my car, and first thing uh, that we're gonna do is uh, set these up. So I'm gonna do the driver's side, and I'm gonna have my, my boy Ulises over here do the passenger side. Yeah, so these came with uh, 3M double-sided tapes. So all we're gonna do is just wipe down the surface where we're gonna install them, and then wait about like a minute so it can dry, and then just stick the 3M tape on the surface, and then just hook up your LEDs. So let's get right to it. All right, so right now we're just uh, tucking the wires so it doesn't look all ugly. And all I did was take out the little, um, like, cubby, whatever you call it, just pull it out, and then I'm just tucking the wires behind it. Most of the, uh, your, uh, what do you call it, your panels, interior panels, they just pop off. Depends on the car. Well, depends on the car, though, so... Right. Copyright. Mm -hmm. Let's play your music. Almighty J on Sock Cloud. Pop, pop. So I'm going to wipe this down with some alcohol wipe. Let it dry for a bit, and then just remove the the thing, whatever you call it, tape. tape. If I can, just put it right here. Then just hold it for about how much? Thirty seconds, forty seconds, so it's gonna stick. All right, so I got the driver's side all set up. Wires all tucked too. Also, uh, it's it's good to use some uh, zip ties. Um, to like tuck your wires and shit. I got one LED right here next to the 
the driver's seat. One fell out, but I'm gonna stick it right there. You gotta hold them down for like a minute or two so they can stick, and then one's right here. But when you go in, you can't really notice it. I'm also gonna tuck this wire out the way. All right, so we got the passenger side all set up. Got one right here in the corner. One back here tucked away. And then one. one over here by the uh, passenger uh, seat. And then when you just come in, you notice nothing. So it's all tucked away, nice and neat. All right, so I'm finally done uh, tucking the wires. Um, and now I can show you uh, the first method of installing these. All right, so I'm gonna have my friend uh, Lorenzo over here uh, uh, record me real quick. Hmm? All right, so the first method, which is the most easiest method, is just hook this up to your cigarette lighter. Just straight into there, just like that. Now we can, uh, just tuck the wires and just leave it like that. But we're always gonna have to have this plugged in, which is kind of annoying. And I just wanna show you how the lights look right now. Pretty cool. Um, I can change colors as well. Here's the controller that it came with. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description below uh, to like two or three different uh, styles of uh, LED lights that you can use for your vehicle. You use code Jose 10 for a 10% off the entire purchase. Oh, yep. yep. And then uh, here's like the different uh, color settings. So obviously you have to have the remote next to the, whatever this thing is called, I'll remember. But let's see, there's blue, 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 blue. Oh, we got white too, that shit looks dope. You can dim it down or you can turn it up the brightness uh, and like do multiple colors at the same time all right so now i'm gonna show you the second method of uh hooking these up so from the remote box over here so all right so the led lights actually came with the splice connection and what i did was i just spliced uh some wires to it just so i can make it a little bit longer the one on the left is the positive wire which is black and white and then the ground side which is negative is the all black one on the right side I don't know if you can see this on camera, but hopefully you can. So the black wire, which is the ground side, you just have to find basically a ground to hook this up to. So I'll show you in a bit. So the reason we went to O'Reilly's is to buy this uh, out of circuit. So basically what it is, is you remove a fuse. You'll remove a fuse from your uh, fuse box and then uh, we'll connect this into it. And then the original fuse that you removed goes in the bottom. And then the fuse for your LEDs goes on the top. So enough talking, I'll just show you how it's done. So one of my fuse box location is uh, located here uh, by the like, clutch pedal. Let's see, we'll do the sunroof, which is a 20 amp fuse. So we're gonna remove the 20 amp fuse and then replace it with the out of fuse or out of circuit, whatever. All right, so I don't know if you can really see this on camera, but the sunroof fuse, sixth one on the top row. So let's go ahead and remove it. All right, there we go. Just to double check if it's a sunroof one, I'm gonna turn on the car and then try and open my sunroof, see if it opens. And as you can see, I'm pushing the buttons over here. This is for my sunroof. But I'm pushing the sunroof uh, to open and it doesn't open, so that's how you know it is, or that it's the right one. All right, I don't know if you can see on camera, but, so we took the sunroof fuse out. So we hooked up the out of circuit. And the kit that we bought actually comes with fuses. So I'm just go ahead and put the 10 amp fuse. So you can see right there, the 10 amp fuse is for the 
LED lights. All right, so as you can see, I pushed the button to open the roof. And you see the roof opening, so that's how you know it's working. After you hook that up, you follow the wire back and connect this to your remote thing, whatever, remote box, and just hook it up. Shit. Just be careful not to break the teeth or whatever. All right. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a switch to my lights so uh, I don't have to use my remote all the time to turn them on. So I just leave my lights on and then with the switch, I'll just turn them on and off. So basically to add a switch, all you have to do is make sure I have enough uh, wire that will reach the switch. My switch is gonna be right here. So then I'll just have to splice into the positive wire and then basically just uh, solder my connections onto each of these uh, metal brackets or pieces coming out from the switch. And then I should be good, so let's just get right to it. All right, so now we're just heat shrinking this. Fuck, I fucked up. More. Because I have to put this through here. How's that going to fit through here? So I have to take this thing off. Oh, yeah, didn't do Fuck, it. I didn't. Take two. Alright, so we finally finished. It's a little late now. But all the wires are tucked. I grounded the ground wire through, uh, through my back of the, the little cubby back here. As you can see right there. And then that's how I ground so it looks all nice. And then now, all I have to do is just... Why should I be going? Pop that back in. So then once I click on the switches, bam. Ooh, motherfucking spaceship. Ooh, Jesus. All right, so I'm not sure if the instructions were clear on the video. So I decided to make a little, little uh, wiring diagram to show how I uh, wired everything. All right, so here's the fuse box. It's by the driver's door, by the clutch pedal or whatever. Um, this is the ADA circuit. Um, so you connect it to the fuse box, you know, whatever fuse you pulled out. So the left side is the original fuse, which is the sunroof fuse that I removed, which is the 20 amp fuse. Um, that goes on the left side of the ADA circuit and on the right side, which is the 10 amp fuse, and that's the fuse to wire all the lights and stuff. So we follow that line up to the switch that I added. So literally you just splice the wire and then uh, solder the switch or add the switch. From there that goes to your control box. So that's your positive, red is positive, black is ground, and my ground is behind the storage unit as you can see in the video. Um, so, and my control box is by the driver's door. And then this blue, uh, these, this blue is just the LED lights. But yeah, this is just like a basic wiring diagram to help you guys out. Um, hope this helps out. If not, then I'm gonna just kill myself. All right, so I actually forgot to end the video when I was recording. So this is like a month later after making the video. So the ending is a little late. If you guys have any questions or anything, just leave them down below and I will answer them. Hope the video was clear. Hope you guys like it and see you guys next time.